Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Becca and I'm documenting my 70 pound weight loss journey. So if you have watched any of my recent videos on my fitness, I have been doing a lot of grow with Joe and this week is no difference. But the reason why now call me out if I sound crazy because I might be just a tad bit, but I just feel like, okay, this is a scenario that I have in my brain. So like, let's say grow with Joe is at a gym, right? She's an instructor, but there's also this other instructor who is also very fit, just like Joe, but like Joe would be like somebody I look at and go like, Oh, I think I could hang out with Joe. Like Joe has no clue who I am, but I feel like I could hang out with her. Like, I feel like she'd be chill. I feel like she'd be supportive. I feel like she wouldn't look at me and go like, Hmm. You know, there's maybe a weight limit on some of the stuff we have, or I've never been around a big person, or you know what I mean? And the other influencers just give me, like, they would definitely be Regina George's best friends, you know? And so, for me, I just can't get into it when I'm watching other instructors that are just way beyond in their fitness than I am. Like, for instance, if I'm doing a workout with a different influencer and they're not all this way of course like I did a Chloe Ting and she was really great with like letting me know what's going to happen before it happens but I tried other people and it's like they just expect you to know they expect you to know that there's gonna be a high kick coming up next like I don't know if they expect people to watch their video like 50,000 times just so they know exactly what's going to happen next so that they don't feel uncomfortable but Every time that I've tried other videos, other than a few, I just feel so uncomfortable and it just makes me feel like, you know, like, what am I doing? Like, I don't know what's happening and like, how do they expect you to know that this is what you're supposed to do? Or I don't know, you get what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. But then whenever I watch Grow a Joe, like she does a workout and then she does a rest. And while you're doing the rest, she's already showing you the next step. So there's always something kind of prompting you like, hey, this is what I'm doing next. So while you're doing this workout, this will be the next one. So it just feels more... I'm not saying put together, but it just feels more comfortable because it's like I can watch her workout and do it with her and then also be looking at the next step going like, okay, I can do that. Like, I'm ready. Count it down. Like, let's get it done. But I don't know. That's just me. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm insecure. I don't know. But it's just very difficult for me to do some other people's, um, you know, workout. So to be honest with you, I think I've made a decision that I'm just going to continue doing Grow With Joe workouts, even if y'all get sick of it, because I have really enjoyed it. Her workouts are very kind of like low impact, but they also like, I know that it's working. Like I feel like her workouts are working for me, regardless of what the scale says. I know that it's just benefiting me. So of course, I'm going to pop on the screen the one that I'm doing today or this whole week. And then I'm also going to be popping in the description, um, a link to her channel and the video that I'm going to be doing just in case if you want to do it. Because if you are a beginner and if you haven't worked out a lot, I recommend her so much. Like more than anybody that I've ever tried. Like she... Her workouts are not only but like easy because I don't do every single thing that she do does. Like sometimes she'll be jumping or like more like bouncy with her steps. And of course, like I, I'm scared I'm going to break an ankle. So I'm not doing all that <laughs> the whole time. But just do whatever you can do if you want to work out. And if you're going to work out, I definitely recommend her. So let's get into it. <laughs> She looks like she's definitely doing a mommy fix right now. Oh, you guys are crazy! So cute. Look how happy the puppy is. Alright, you have to pick up your cat. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey guys, so it's time for my results. So the beginning of this week, my weight was 204 pounds and my current weight is 203. So that makes a full pound for the week. And honestly, I'm not surprised. I have been overeating this week and eating things that definitely I shouldn't have been eating, but it's just been... I don't know, like, to, I'm just going to be real with you guys and be honest with y'all because I feel like a lot of people struggle with depression, and I do. I, unfortunately, have been on a low this week. For me, my depression goes in waves. So, like, for instance, like, this week uh, was just a low for me. And then, but next week, I might be on a high or in two weeks, you know, it just... I don't know what... Just certain things might trigger me, and I might not even notice what's happening. My brain likes to work in mysterious ways but if you struggle with depression or anxiety like you're definitely not alone I've watched many people on here and not only is the community so encouraging but a lot of people do definitely deal with struggles in their own lives and you know what people put online may not be the full version you know of course I mean you guys just see snippets of my life and Eventually, I'm sure I will open up to you guys a lot more, but I mean, everything's fine. I just definitely have a lot of past traumas, I guess I would like to put it. I don't know, but it definitely has been a struggle this week and I'm okay. Everybody's okay. Everything's okay. It's just my, the way that I cope with it is eating and that's kind of where, why I'm where I'm at right now. So unfortunately, instead of, you know, trying to find a healthier alternative to deal with it, I eat. So not the best thing, but it's okay if you also struggle with it. Like I said, I mean, I do so, and you know, I try to be the best person I can be, the best mom I could be. Like I always try to just do everything at the best level that I can do it. So some days I fall short and sometimes that's okay. I mean, it's okay to not always be completely on, completely perfect. And you're just as a human being, I think every single person that's watching this has had lows and highs in your life. And, you know, what makes a difference is the people that are there for you. And if you are struggling with anything, I definitely am there for you too. And yeah, but I hope you guys have a wonderful night. And if you aren't already, go ahead and subscribe. I will be seeing you guys on Tuesday.